here we are back in Bridge. And in Bridge, I have these pictures that I've been working with. Some of them I didn't get to on the lessons. But uh, I want to show you how to save images in Camera Raw so that you can output them to a folder. So say you've been working on a whole bunch of different images and you want to send them all to a the same folder in the same format with a file file name scheming that works a file name scheme that works well for them. Uh, that's I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's I'm going to choose this doc this image uh, Steve here. By the way, um, I'm control clicking on it or option clicking if I'm on a Mac, but I'm control clicking because I'm on a Windows machine. And then I'm going to choose a baseball picture. And I'm going to right click because if I just double click, well, if I double click, I'll show up in Camera Raw, but I'm going to just right click and, and say open in Camera Raw. And notice it opens up all three of those images. I can just toggle right through them. I can even use my arrow up and down arrow keys or right left arrow keys to move you know, up and down on these images. And I'm going to go through and say, oh, just make sure I'm happy with these. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Eh, except I think this the soil is a little redder. So I'm just going to make a quick adjustment to that. I'm going to go um, do some saturation. I'm going to increase the saturation in that soil so it's a little redder. I'm going to pull out the pull out a little bit of yellow, though. I'm just going to move this yellow down a little bit because I want it to be more on red. All right, so I'm a little happier with that now. Okay, I have all three of these images. I want to save all the images. Notice if I just have one selected, I click Save Image, and it just saves one image. So I want to select all three of them. So I'm going to click on the first one and then Shift-click on the last one. It shows they're all selected, and it says Save Images. And I say, all righty then, I'll do that. So I click on Save Images, and I get this dialog that comes up. I'm going to erase a a word that I had in there before. I get this dialog that comes, this dialog box that says, well, you want to save in a new location or the same location? Well, those those pictures were in several different folders, so I, I just want to save them in the same location because if I, I mean in a new location, because if I tell them to save them in the same location, then I have to go find out where they were and everything. It's a lot of trouble. Um, so here's the file naming. And notice it says this plus this plus this plus this. Um, I can have four different parameters that I that can use to save these files under. And I'm going to click right here, and I can have um, document names. So say I'm giving these to Bob. I'm going to give these pictures to Bob. I'm going to say uh, this is going to be Bob. And then I want to be able to differentiate these. So Bob, and I'm going to do, since I only have um, a few pictures, I'm going to say I'm going to have a two-digit serial number, and I'm going to begin numbering with one. And then I'm going to have the date and um, since we're in the US it goes month day year and I, I'm I think I want a four digit year oh look they go year no it doesn't give me an option for uh, whatever so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna say month day year and then uh, I don't want anything else so I'm not gonna choose anything on this one and so it's going to, they're all going to say Bob, and then it's going to be 01, 02, and 01, 02, 03, and then it's going to have the date that I saved it. Now, where do I want to save it? Well, I'm going to just save it on the desktop. So here we go. I'm going to click desktop, and uh, I'm going to create a folder on the desktop. So I click new folder, and I'm going to say photos for Bob. I like to use this where you don't capitalize first letter and then every you know I don't like put spaces in um, folders because of how I've been trained to do this kind of stuff so I'm going to select that folder and then when I save this stuff they're going to save as this file extension notice how I have all these options JPEG TIFF um, PSD Photoshop document uh, a DNG whatever that is and then it says down here format can do it as a digital negative, a TIFF, a Photoshop document. I'm just going to keep it as JPEG because I'm going to do these as JPEG because I, I want to. But if I wanted to send it to somebody as a lossless file, I choose TIFF. Uh, probably this TIFF right here, the lowercase. And then I'd tell it to be TIFF here. And then if I saved it, they'd be really big files, but they would be in perfect uh, lossless quality. All right, so now I'm ready to save it. I'm going to save it in that folder that I created, and I'm going to click Save. Now, 
Uh, by the way, it's showing that it's saving it right here. I counted it down. I'm going to say done with this. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And there's going to be this folder that's called Photos for Bob. I'm going to double click on that. And there are those three pictures. Notice Bob 0106. It's Bob 01 and it's 618.14, which is today's date. Bob 02. 618.14 and so on. By the way, I could have put a put a dash in one of those places when when I did it um, in in uh, camera raw in that save dialog box. I could put a dash in one of them so there'd be a dash so Bob 02 dash and then it'd be 06 18.14. Um, but that is how you save multiple files in fo in camera raw without even going into Photoshop. The end. I can just clear the pins. And then that takes it back to the way it was before I, I did it. So that's how you can use the adjustment brush. You paint in an area and then you can work with this to make all these all these sliders to make adjustments in a camera image. You can also do it in JPEG, we don't have as many options. That's it.